in this recording i am going to talk about uh, router chain which is one of the multi llm patterns i want to talk about router chain in the context of a problem statement one of my friends linkedin friends he um, posed this uh, problem statement where what he wanted to do how would you build the chain of the chain of prompts in the following approach use the context pdf on buddhism if no answer available continue to step 2 if answer available output answer and and conversation right basically if the question if i ask a question on buddhism and if the answer cannot be given based on the context that was given then fall back to step number 2 where it will try to get the answer from other sources right and finally if answer is there give the answer otherwise no right so this type of problems can we so i'll not say it's it's a complex very complex problem but it's a relatively complex problem and these are the areas where we need to engage a more complex pattern more than one language model to solve it right? i'll go to the code soon but how <clears throat> i the how the conceptual solution looks like for this is so i get a prompt i pass the prompt to a context verifier and the context verifier is a low cost llm for me it's a gpt 3.5 turbo instruct <clears throat> compared to gpt4 uh, it's it's uh, very cheap right so it will first check if the question and the context that i have provided whether it is good enough for the llm to answer the or or if the question can be answered based on the context if it can be answered based on the context it will route it to an llm chain a simple uh llm chain which is uh, again powered by gpt 3 point turbo instruct if not right then it will route it to a agent chain is a react chain which will which is using gpt 4 as a language model it will go to wikipedia and then get the answer for me right so the other thing that uh, i wanted to highlight here is that in addition to solving the complex process like by decomposing it into multiple uh, smaller problems this type of architecture also helps me to reduce the cost of my uh, language model applications right for example every time i don't have to call gpt4 right i probably like if the context is there i'll um call it low cost uh, uh, model to give an answer but if i have to do little more need to do a chain of thoughts and all i'll write route it to a more powerful more expensive model right so this is the overall the solution um, the conceptual solution now let's go to the code and i'll show you how i have solved it with lang chain and i used lang chain um expression language which is also called lcel right and this code again will be available in my github but let me walk through the code right so this instantiation of this llm this is the llm that i am going to use for my agent chain Where where I wanted to do a chain of thought, right? Then I created a custom tool. The custom tool, the description of the custom tool is that it is useful for when you need to answer on Buddhism. What it is doing is, it is going to Wikipedia, right? Again, I am using the Wikipedia wrapper of Lang Chain. You can use uh, Wikipedia in its native way also, right? Using the Python Wikipedia. uh sdk i am searching for buddhism 
right? And the content that I get, I return the content through this tool, right? This is the uh, synchronous run. The synchronous run I did not implement because I, I am not showing it in this uh, POC, right? So this is a tool. I then create the Buddhism agent, right? Which is this agent chain here. I initialize the agent. GPT-4 is the LLM that I give. The tool, my custom tool, I give it access to the custom tool. And as I mentioned, it's a React uh, agent, zero shot React agent, because here I'm, I don't want to give it any example. So this is my, this chain here. Next comes the LLM chain, right? How did, do I do the uh, other, the initial chain or the LLM chain? Here, the prompt is answer based on the below context. I'll give a context, give a question, and I will use GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct to answer this, right? So this is this is the pipe, right? This is where the LCL, Lang chain expression language comes into picture. <clears throat> so since I used LCL, so I have the pipes here, right? Then I create the branch or the <clears throat> router. <clears throat> what the router does is it's a runnable branch. And again, this is uh, a LCL construct. What I'm saying is if the answer from the context verifier, which I have defined here, the context verifier chain, if the answer from the context verifier chain is no, then call the Buddhism agent. If it is yes, that means the question can be answered based on the context, then route this to my initial chain, which is the LLM chain, right? This is my context verifier chain. What I'm telling the context verifier chain is, determine if the question can be correctly answered based on the context. Think step-by-step step if the answer, uh, think step-by-step step to answer. Answer only in a single syllable, no or yes. Please also include the context and the question as is in the output. This is because, right, if it says no or yes, I need to pass that to the LLM chain or the agent chain. And output the response in a correctly formatted JSON template. <clears throat> and this is my template. I have the answer, which is yes or no. Input and question, both will have the original question because input is used by agent chain. Question is, the question key is used by the LLM chain. And I think there is a way where I can change the uh, input key of an agent chain also, right? In that case, I, I could can only give only one key. key. I, I have not uh, dig much into this, but um, for the sake of uh, this demonstration, I just uh, use two keys, one for the agent chain, one for the LLM chain, right? And the context, right? Those we need as is. Now I do the final chain. This is where I now orchestrate it using Langchain expression language. So the context item getter, it will come from my, um, when I give the question, right? When I ask the question, I pass the context and the question. So the context will come from here. Question <clears throat> will come from here, but it's a runnable pass through because I want to pass it through the other chains also. The first, with this, the first chain that I run is the context verifier chain, right? This is a context verifier chain. It will give me an answer like this, right? A output like this, whether answer is no or yes, right? Um, I'm doing a standard output parser. And then whatever the output parser, right? Just to ensure that this is in a JSON format, I'm calling uh, ast.literallevel to convert it into a well-formatted uh, JSON document. And then the branch, right? Then I call the branch. So in the branch, what I'm seeing is if the answer is no, call the Buddhism agent. If it is yes, right? Then call the initial chain. That is all about the program. Now let's see how it uh, works, right? So let's say I say there are more than 400 million followers in Buddhism. And the question is how many followers do we have in Buddhism? So this is a question. Uh, that can be answered or this question can be answered based on this context so ideally it should be able to run this right with this context which is my initial chain right which is this chain right so let's take a look at it if i get this uh, answer 
So when I run it, so it says, yeah, so the answers that came was yes, right? How many followers, right? And the output was there are more than 400 million uh, followers in Buddhism, right? Now let me change Buddhism to Hinduism, right? Then this question cannot be answered based on this uh, context, right? It should now go to my agent chain. Let's see how it, whether it does it. The, the My agent chain is a React agent, right? So it's, it has entered into the agent executor chain. It will do now reasoning and thinking, right? This is where it is doing the uh, court thinking, right? And finally, it is saying, okay, the finally the output, if you see, Buddhism has over 520 million followers. Where did it get this from? Because it called Wikipedia. And in Wikipedia, right, I have the uh, uh, information. So if I go to this one here, I should be able to see the information that it has retrieved is, I think it is somewhere here, uh, 520 million followers, right? It is the world's fourth largest religion with over 520 million followers, right? So it actually went into the internet, called Wikipedia, got the answer and gave me the answer. Right? So this is all that I wanted to show uh, through this demonstration. Stay tuned. I will come back with uh, more examples, more patterns. Thank you.